All right, well yesterday I got shot down by three different stores. That's why there wasn't a hunt video. Uh, I did call Natalie's and they said, come on man, come see us. And we got a couple of things that you might find interesting. So I love Natalie's. If you guys get a chance, come out here, say my name. Uh, they'll probably be like, who? But you never know. All right, let's see what they're all about today. So we are at Natalie's, one of my favorite stores of all time. They're a friend of mine. They, they, they don't chase me out. And I know I was at a, tried to get a couple stores yesterday, and they were like, "No, we don't, we don't want you here." So I'm gonna talk him into giving me that buffalo someday. Maybe if I, maybe, maybe if I sell a ton of stuff for him, he'll he'll come and he'll he'll say I can have that buffalo. So I got all the buffalo trace down here that you could want. Got that wooden bill, and also. I think these are the single barrels. I think I talked to him last time and they have uh, some store picks that I missed. So I definitely want to try to get in there and see about getting some of the store picks. And uh, Richard is the manager. Uh, make sure that you come in and you say hi and that you uh, told them that you saw my video because they've been extremely kind and gracious to me. Um, pro I would say arguably other than uh, other than maybe uh, one of the other stores in Atoka that's uh, it used to be a neighbor of mine a long time ago. Uh, I think they're probably, this is, I think Natalie might be nicer. So, so this is store pick here, which is awesome. And, we got all that. and I think I'm going to have to ask if they have this. I love this bottle. I don't know that I've got the store pick from them here, but that's a, that's a great, uh, let me see. I don't think this, this is not a store pick. This is the, uh, I'll have to look over here and see. So, as we've said before, here is all the Canadian. And uh, let's get over here and see what they got going on here. They got Whistle Pig. We got the Larceny small batch. And here's the Penelope, of course. Uh, this is probably the only one that I've heard a lot of people really speak highly of. And this stuff is starting to take off. I recommend you grab a bottle of the Green River before people start to uh, run wild with it. Um, this is the the bottle that I really enjoyed when I was doing the tasting. Um, I'm probably going to grab one of these today just so I can have one in my, as as, uh, as the French say, repertoire. Right, I got the bottled and bomb, which I've enjoyed. I got a giant bottle of the honey uh, that uh, will last me probably five years, but I'm going to I'm gonna enjoy it anyway. And there's a Kentucky Tavern, and there's a Screwball. Of course, there is all of our flavored whiskeys at the bottom. They kind of go up over here. Uh, thinking about going back to the Jack Daniels Distillery, and Dickel is right up the road, so I don't get much love for Dickel on here. Uh, I need you guys to tell me if that's worth my time or not. There's Bottled and Bond. There's a 311. And there's a 10 cup. Not anything new from Old Forester. I've had a lot of people tell me that pick between the 1910 and the 1920. Um, I don't know. I'm going to... I think I may may pick up the 1910 the next time I get one of these guys. There's Woodford, of course. And I've seen more of this High West coming out, too. So, any of you guys that have tried the High West, let me know. All right, let me go back down here to where... We said there's the Jim Beam and bird dog there's some got our wild turkey I don't own any rare breed that's another one I feel like I should be getting uh, I feel like I've been cheating on scotch for a while now so I need to stop doing that so there's a smoke wagon and yep just like always uh, I, I, so let me let me ask you buddy so if I, if I was gonna get the smoke wagon or I was gonna get the uh, Redwood Empire uh, and I'll get to when I get to it in a, in a minute. You tell me which one. I'm going to go back to this again. So this is the one I'm talking about. It's a smoke wagon uncut, unfiltered. So should I get this one? Or uh, I'm just going to go over here and do it. Or get the uh, the Grizzly Beast. So you guys tell me. Uh, I may put a poll up. And you guys tell me which one I'm going to get. And I think whatever the poll picks is what I'm going to get. So there's some Calamont. Some Mictors and Bullet. Uh oh, you guys tell me, is that a dunker? I don't think that's a dunker. It does go close, but I don't think that's a dunker. 
There's an old tub. There's a very old Barton. And I have, I think I've got a sample of this at the house. I'm going to have to try to pop open five or get to 1300. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go to. I did buy a bottle of this. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Um, I think it's kind of a newer, newer selection from them. So bottled and bond. It's, you know, in Tennessee, you know, or in Tennessee, in Memphis. I think it's the only one in town that's actually doing this. So, and this is Holland Station. We talked about this before. I'll, I won't probably mention it again. We thought the bottles were changing, but they're staying the same. So, get some of the lower shelf stuff. So you have to stuff stuff's bending over to get. And we've got uh, the blue note. There's the Elijah Craig. That's blue run. Such a pretty little bottle. Not had any of it. Um, and this Redwood Empire, this is the one that I think I'm going to miss out on, I'm afraid. So you guys need to tell me should, if I'm going to pick one of the two, which two should I get? Uh, I think that's Alan Jackson's. Yep, that's Alan Jackson's whiskey. we got the Four Roses. And there's the Bardstown. Everybody goes, you just go right past the Bardstown. And there's the Lucky Seven, which I'm a fan of the holiday. I've not had any of the other. We've got some Remus. Let's see here. Well, that old Dominic's not, it's kind of in a different place. There's a cast strength. Interesting. There's some Sazerac. And there we go. There's the Buffalo Trace. Got plenty of Blanton. It's got the Tropics. Got the Woodenville. We got the Private Barrel. Which one is that? The Private Barrel. That's not it. Gross, a little, gro little less grosser. All right, and we got the Glen Levitt. Always a, a good, 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 good smattering, good selection of Scotch through here, which I'm always happy to see. Um, I've got a good bottle of this already, so I'm not running low. I have to get back here when I'm not running so low. It looks like. I only have one bottle of that left, so uh, if, I don't, if I don't come back and get it, somebody better come over here and snatch this one up, especially if you like the peated stuff. Another good one if you're curious about trying some scotch. in 18 and maybe at 1800 subscribers if that ever happens I'll do that now so okay here we go this is what I get a lot of grief on everybody says this is the best but if you can get this get this so should this be one of the one of the next scotches I get uh, the cast strength so I think I've heard some good things about the PX that these are kind of at the top end of what my price range might be all right well let's talk about the good stuff that he does have here uh, is that uh, bomb burgers and shanks? I think it is. So, are these uh, someone's unicorns? You let me know. Uh, it's the Larceny Barrel Fruit. It still has the Victors, the Barrel Strength. Brunham Original. And that's the A223. Bomb Burger and Shanks, which I've not seen this anywhere. So, all right, I'm going to go past the table. Over here, this is the over the discount table. Let's see what they got here. I like this bottle. It looks like it'll be a good olive oil bottle. All right, everything on the table is half off. Still got the Hooters. Sargon whiskey. All right. I think that may be all of the bourbon. I do want to point out one. Wait, that, where's that wise man? So that's a, that would be half price. That's a good price. Um, and it looks like they have sold their Johnny Walker Blue that had a combination lock on it. So that was pretty good. That's exciting for them. All right. Well, 
I highly recommend Natalie's. Uh, if you come by, tell him that uh, I was here, that, that you, you saw my video, and he'll go, who? So, but, all right. All right, guys, well, thanks, and uh, uh, sorry about not getting a video out yesterday, and I hope you guys like it, and uh, if I missed anything, as always, let me know. Straight from Hades. And that was your 15 seconds of fireball.